If you own a social media marketing agency or you're thinking of starting one and you want to be really successful with it, then you're probably going to want to stop doing these things. Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. For those of you who are new to the channel, my name is Jaime and I'm the proud owner of a social media marketing agency transforming online brands into market leaders. What I want to do in this video is share with you the three biggest mistakes that I see people make and that I've made in the past myself, show you how they could drastically be slowing your growth and your success with SMMA and share with you what you actually need to do instead to actually get results with your social media marketing agency. It is honestly mind boggling to me the fact that I kept making these mistakes for months on end almost, and it truly slowed down my growth and my success with social media marketing agency. But the craziest thing to me is the fact that there's a lot of people out there who preach about doing these things, which are complete and utter mistakes, and also people to this day still following the advice or still making those mistakes. So I'm really excited for this video because I think it's gonna save you guys a lot of time, a lot of wasted energy, and potentially even money. And you're gonna wanna stick around till the end because the final mistake is the one that cost me the most pain and sweat and tears almost. And once I had it solved, my agency really took off. So without further ado, let's get right into it. The first mistake is spending an absurd amount of time on qualifying leads, on prospecting and lead sourcing. It honestly pains me when I see people make this mistake. A lot of the students that come to me are making this mistake. They're spending almost 20 to 30 minutes on one single lead. What a waste of time, right? And when I look back at my early SMA days, my early lead sourcing sessions, I would spend literally three hours to collect maybe 20 leads, right? What a waste of time. And look, if you told me that those 20 leads that I collected had a very high probability of responding to my outreach and potentially becoming clients, I would probably say those three hours are very well invested. But what I'm constantly doing in my life, in my business, in my personal life, what I'm constantly doing is I'm comparing the input with the output. And when it comes to lead sourcing, the, the input, right, the, the time that you spend qualifying the leads and, and finding leads is not directly correlated to the likelihood of them responding to your outreach. In fact, the vast majority of people are not gonna respond to your outreach because the vast majority of people do not care about your service. So why spend all that time qualifying these people, right? Seeing whether they're a good fit for you if you don't even know whether you're a good fit for them and whether they're in the market for a service like yours. So yes, you wanna find qualified leads, but the way not to do this is by filling out a ton of information for one single prospect or looking at their whole digital strategy or all in all spending a ton of time on one single lead. What I recommend you guys do is you spend a max of five minutes per lead. And not only that, the other thing you wanna do with prospecting is let the leads qualify themselves to you. Okay? And the way I like to think prospecting or lead sourcing is you could, for example, let's just say that you are selling a product to uh, people with high purchasing power. Okay, So people that are pretty well off. Option number one is you could go on the street and ask every single person what their net worth is or how much they make a year. right? Uh, and based on that, you could determine whether they have high purchasing power or not. Or what you could do instead is you could go to the affluent neighborhoods, right? Where the average home, for example, or the average salary per home, or the average income per home could be 200K a year, right? That is a much easier way of doing it because you don't have to go person by person. You can just assume that the people in that neighborhood are pretty well off. Or for example, you could join places or clubs, right? For example, a social club that has certain entry requirements and maybe it's not about income or how much you make, right? But you know for a fact that people that go to that club, they're pretty well off because the monthly subscription for that club is maybe 1K a month, right? Or 2K a month or 3K a month, whatever it is, right? And so you can just assume that the people in that club are gonna be well off and gonna be able to afford whatever you're selling, right? And that's the way I like to go about lead sourcing and prospecting. I like to ask myself, what are my dream prospects hanging out I wanna find where they're congregating and then go to that place. And once you do that, you can just assume that the people in that cohort, in that congregation, are qualified for your service. And you can start reaching out to them and letting them qualify themselves to you. So that is what I would recommend on lead sourcing. And that is the first mistake that I see so many people make. They spend so much time on lead sourcing, on prospecting, and all that time they could be spending on actually reaching out to clients on, for example, closing clients, on working on their systems, on hiring new people, on training new people, et cetera, et cetera. So that is the first mistake. The second massive mistake is not following up with prospects. It is mind boggling again, it is mind boggling to see so many agency owners, especially the ones that are new to the, to the industry, they think that just because a prospect didn't reply to the first email, they're not interested. And the fact is the vast majority of people that end up converting as a client, and I'm telling you guys from experience, didn't actually reply to my first email. Right? They reply to the second one, to the third one, even to the fourth one, right? And research shows that it takes about five touch points to initiate a purchase conversation. So it's really important that you have that follow-up system 
in place and that you constantly stay on top of your prospects. Just to give you guys a bit of an idea, in my case, for example, if someone is trying to sell me something, which is often the case nowadays, I will actually wait for them to follow up unless the offer is so spot on. Even if I'm interested, I wanna make sure that they follow up because when someone doesn't follow up with you, it tells me a lot about how much they believe in your service. It tells me a lot about their perseverance. It really tells me a lot about that person. And so I actually wait for people to follow up because then I actually know that they're genuinely interested in this partnership and I'm not just one of millions that they're reaching out to. Obviously, when it comes to following up, it's important to get a really good balance because you don't wanna come off as desperate, you wanna come off as persistent, but also very respectful. So that is the second mistake to avoid if you wanna grow a social media marketing agency. And the final mistake is making your offer the same as pretty much everyone else in the market. Most people are offering the same service and the same value proposition and look you can have the same service you can offer facebook ads but find a way to make it different how is your service different and your approach and your process to results different from other agencies out there are you extremely results driven are you for example do you have a money back guarantee are, are you performance driven where you factor in a ROAS or percentage of profit onto your pricing do you have just set retainers but you get incredible results is the branding or the creative component for you incredibly important what is your unique value offering? It's really important that you find that because that's what's gonna make your agency truly unique and it's really what's gonna allow you to stand out from the noise in the market. It wasn't until I made my value offering different to what's out there in the market that I started to stand out and that I started to get a lot of attention on my offering and made the sales drastically, drastically easier. So find a way to make your value offering different, unique, and extremely attractive to your prospects. If you don't know how to go about this, I recommend that you do a lot of market research into your niche, right? So understand what the prospects in your niche really value. What is the one thing that's really, really important for them, right? For example, if you're doing a pair on fashion within the e-commerce uh, sector, you should probably understand that for them, the branding and the creative side of things are very, very important. So you can't just launch any ad, right? The creative side of the ad has to be on point because for a, an apparel and fashion brand, that is really what they're selling, right? They are selling a vibe, they're selling an emotion, they are selling an aesthetic. So the ad needs to match that. It's not just about having a great ad copy or a great funnel. So guys, that is it for this video. Those are the three mistakes that are absolutely deadly if you're trying to grow a social media marketing agency. And if you fix this and you implement some of the strategies that I gave you in this video, your SMMA is really gonna feel the effects of it. And you're gonna be able to shortcut your way to success by literally more than adding, just avoiding the time wasted and the money wasted and the energy wasted on making this mistake. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and drop a big thumbs up. YouTube just loves when that thing turns blue and I'd really appreciate it. Also leave down below any comments, any questions you may have on this video and I'll be sure to check those out. And the final thing is if you haven't joined the free private mentorship community on Facebook, the Client Closers, it's an incredible community full of like-minded people looking to scale their agency and level up in life. So if you wanna check that out, go ahead and check out the link in the description. And as always guys, hope everything is going well in your agency journey and I will see you in the next one. Peace.